Hi everyone, welcome back to our course. In this lesson, you will learn how to do the five-base security rule for the role checking for our blog. So before that, I would like to introduce this uh, three things to do role checking in the Firebase. So uh, you can reference for this article, and I will put this link in the uh, description for the YouTube videos. And here, uh, I will not talk too much about the exactly things, but there's actually three ways for doing role checking in the Firebase. The first thing is identify our user ID. The second thing is the user profile document. And the first thing is using Firebase of and custom creams. And in this lesson, I will teach you how to use Node.js to implement a Firebase of and custom cream to assign different custom creams for your admin and user. So uh, for this article, this is the full execution uh, guideline to teach you how to make the exact frames for this tutorial. So you can also reference for the link in the description. So get started. So in this lesson, we will create a new project file for our server. Because we are using the Firebase admin SDK, we will use all the Firebase admin features in our server. So we need to create a new folder and also create a new project for the server. So we first uh, dive it to our uh, new folder and I have been named this folder for uh, my React block server. So you have to create a new folder for it. After we have drifted in our folder and we will need to uh, create the new Node.js applications. So for here, we can enter npm init. So we need to uh, type the package names. And for me, I just uh, type my React block server. And also we need to assign the version name, so I skip it. Description, skip it, skip it, skip, skip, skip. So after we have to do everything, and the uh, node will us uh, starting to create a new project. And uh, to using our Firebase admin SDK, first we need to install our Express server and the Firebase admin package. So we enter npm install express slash slash save and uh, we first install express and we're going to install the dev dependency for the Firebase admin. So we npm install slash uh, slash save and the Firebase admin. So after we have installed these two package, and then we need to go to our Firebase console to get our SDK key. After we get the SDK key, we need to uh, add it in our folder and then our server can use this key to do all the Firebase admin features. Okay, we go back here for the Firebase console and we want to get the Firebase SDK key. So we first kick the arrow here, the gear here, and kick the project settings. And uh, remember in the previous lesson, we have do the Firebase SDK in our uh, front end. But this time we go to this service account to get the key the Firebase admin SDK key. So we need to click the Node.js here and generate a new private key. Remember, this private key is very important. We cannot just input, import it to our front end because 
for the people who have this key can do everything for such all the Firebase console features. So we need to put this key in a new project and uh, only the server, only the admin can access this key. So we click the generate new private key and remember you need to uh, keep it confidential and not level loose because it cannot be covered. So after we download the key, then we need to put it in our project. Okay, we are here and we I have uh, put the private key in our project directory. So the next step we need to do is create a JavaScript file to uh, execute our JavaScript function later. So we create a new JavaScript folder fi file and type it for uh, something like server.js and, and according to our uh, guideline from the Firebase we need to copy this code for the server.js and we we'll change the server's account key name so we just copy it and go back to the code and place it to the server.js and the first step we need to change here for the name of the account key so we can add the key here so my key name is we add my mini block and etc and here we going to uh, credit it for this third and we in this right app then after the firebase the javascript is in this right and then we can call our javascript admin sdk functions then we're going to import our express app so we can import our app from the express so we because we are using the required js so the syntax we need to use the required js so we import the express and also we want to change the uh, type to constant uh, for the es6 javascript and then we are going to create a new get uh, method so we uh, enter app.get so we have a, a set the set stash set admin and we will pass a ac method so we pass the request and we solve and in here we will call the admin dot offend and here we set the um custom custom using claim here in here we need to input two things the first thing is uh, the user id that we want to change so we leave this blank here and the second thing we need to pass the object here that we want to change the custom claim we can assign multiple custom claims for this user and also we will receive the then method and that method we want to uh, just log it done and last but not least because this is express applications so we need to um, do the app for listen our 4000 port and we also need to not we are listening So in this code, because we using the express server, every path we will pass it in this express server later on, and we will only receive the path call set admin, and this is the get method because we just used it in the local host. So no matter you use get method or set uh, or post method, it doesn't matter. So. In here, we use express app and we are listening for set admin path. And what we are going to do is firstly, we will initialize app from the Firebase from our private key. And then we will go into call the admin Firebase function and we call the offend object. What he is going to do is set the custom user 
clean. So in this uh, function, we will pass two things. The first thing is the UID, the user that you want to assign the custom claim. And the second thing is a JavaScript object or the JSON object. You can assign different kind of uh, custom claim for this UID user. So in here, we can type type uh, and the type is administrator administrator so that means for the uid we will put in here and after this uh, function is executed and this user will be assigned a new custom claim where the type is administrator so of course you can change whatever uh, name and value here because we're using the custom claims after we have set the custom claim for the user and then in our uh, react app we can check the claim whether the claim type is administrator so we can also assign different type of claims but in this tutorial i will just teach you how to assign for the um, the hard-coded user ID. So if you have time, you can uh, uh, change the method to uh, we input some UID and the UID will pass it to this fun function and change the type from the admin. But the first time you need to hard-coded the admin uh, custom crane because the custom crane we cannot assign in the Firebase console we need to use the code to assign the custom claim so after we have uh, an implement for this javascript file and then we're going to go back to our react app to see uh, how to call this function in our react app so uh, please stay tuned okay the next step we are going to do is try the uid and assign this member as the admin. So we click this copy UID button here and we go back to the code. Okay, we go to server.js and place, uh, and place the UID we copied. And last thing is we run this server.js. So we go to terminal and continue. In, okay, in the terminal, we uh, enter node server.js and we start listening on the port 4000, which means our server.js is activated. Then we go to uh, our browser and execute the set admin function we have. So here we enter localhost 4000 and set admin. Okay, after it's executed, you can see the console is done. That means our custom claim has been assigned to the UID we specified it. So the next step, we will go to our React app to see the final result. Okay, so we go back to the heading.js. So now I want to know whether we have uh, assigned the custom claim successfully. So what we are going to do is uh, print that the claim from the Firebase uh, for token. So how it works, so we need to uh, input the component we will see plus which we will save the next prompt of the of an object because we are using the enhanced connect so our props will be as the local props uh, from later on of the next prompt which means in originally originally there is no of an object after the connect is finished executed and will pass as the next prompt and our React app will receive this prod. So, uh, to summary, 
So which means we need to get the of an object in the next plot because in the random method we will all, always get check the of an object. So in here, so we enter if next props dot of friend is empty, which means if this is empty, but what we want is we want to get the URD. So we say not empty and we do the file base dot of n dot current user dot get id token result and we will receive a then method so in here we make the error function and we want to print out the claims we received it. So we just lock the claim. So after uh, this code is finished, then we go to Google Chrome to let's see whether it's worse. So we go back to our code. So we go back to our code. Firstly, we refresh our app. So we go to F12 to the console and you see nothing happened. So we refresh again. So you can see our heading.js38, which means we're going to output uh, the claim. So we expand here, and you can see there is uh, attributes called claims, and we expand here. So you can see our type as uh, administrator. So that means our claims is in, uh, assigned to this user. So if you cannot see your claim, custom claim, so you may need to log in again. First, uh, you need to log out and log in again to see uh, the claim because we need to refresh the token. So otherwise, our claim cannot be uh, displayed in the console. So thank you for watching. So in the next tutorial, I will teach you uh, the user restriction rules to access the new article and different pages. Please stay tuned. Curiosity is a self-learning platform with knowledge-based recommendation systems, providing a personalized learning experience for the self-learner and the school students. People could share their knowledge and exchange for the rewards. We are doing the next generation learning tools for the next generation of learners.